Hi, I'm Nick Dudson from Keytree, and today I'm going to take you on a journey into the near future and show you how cutting edge technology is going to change the way we all shop. I would like to demonstrate an application we've developed at Keytree on a very smartphone that incorporates image recognition, augmented reality, and RFID tag reading, or near field communications. We've attached this application to the SAP Project River platform, also known as the NetWeaver Edge platform, and show you how this on-demand platform enables us to deploy lightweight applications in the cloud. We've also developed an iPad application that is also connected to the Project River, pulling down real-time sales data information. So let's start shopping in our 22nd century store. For this demonstration, we've imagined we're shopping in a store called Grace Brothers. So we've developed the application called the Grace Brothers Store Assistant. As I'm browsing the shop, if I see a product that I like and would like a little bit more information, the first thing I do is start up the Grace Brothers Store Assistant on the smartphone. And all I need to do is just point the phone at the product I'm interested in. And what will happen is the application will connect to the River platform and pull down product-related data and show me a contextual menu. So here I can see this is made by Great Jackets Limited and it's a black cropped double-breasted coat. If I'd like to see other colors for this coat, I just click on the color icon and I can see that this coat comes in other colors such as gray, gray or gray. Perhaps I'd like to see what this would look like on a model. Now that's image recognition with this application. But what happens if we add augmented reality on top of the image recognition? Another product I'm interested in is a lamp. All I need to do is point the store assistant at the image and up comes a different contextual menu. This time, I'm going to click on the information and projected onto my screen are augmented reality hotspots, giving me more information about this particular product. I can see here that this is a solid oak based lamp and it has a non-flammable shade. Well, that's good enough for me. What I'm going to do is just click on the price and the application is contacting the Project River On Demand platform and actually making the purchase. Now, on the other side of the sales equation is the store manager, and we've developed an iPad application that is accessing the same River platform and pulling down real-time sales data. So the store manager would start up his Grace Brothers iPad app, and here we have sales information. In the top left-hand side, we have today's sales by department. Across the bottom, we have the total number of sales by month, and on the right-hand side, we have live sales information alerts. And I can see here at the top, a lamp has just been sold to Nick Dudson on floor four. Now this gives the store manager added value because since I know where the customer has made the purchase, I might be able to go and meet the customer and offer more information such as delivery times or see if the customer would like to buy some more products. Now, we've seen image recognition and augmented reality. I'd like to demonstrate now RFID tag reading. Most of us have actually already experienced this using the London Underground Oyster cards, or maybe even the Visa Swipe and Pay cards. And this is the technology that is currently exploding in the mobile phone market. For this demonstration, I've been using the Google Nexus S phone. And this is currently one of the only phones on the market that has the ability to read RFID tags. Now, I'm browsing the Grace Brothers store and I see a picture that I think would look quite good in the downstairs loo, but I don't know so much about it. This time, instead of using image recognition, all I do is I just hold the phone up to the RFID tag. It will recognize the tag, go to the River platform and pull information about this picture. Now I can see this is a picture called the Mona Lisa by someone called Leonardo da Vinci. I quite like it, but I would like to see other things that this artist has done. So I just click on the search icon and I can see he's also done works called Virgin on the Rocks, The Last Supper. There's a sale on a product called The Vitruvia Man, 25% off, but that's not really for me. I think I'd like to purchase this picture. So all I'm going to do is go back a step and click on the 75 million pound purchase price. Seems like a snip to me. I'll click on yes to confirm the purchase and I'll confirm that I'm just about to buy the Mona Lisa. 
Going back to the store manager application, I can see here an alert, the Mona Lisa painting has just been sold to Nick Dudson. As the store manager, I've just hit today's targets, tomorrow's targets, and probably targets for the next 25 years. Now, the only bit we haven't seen yet is the Project River platform. So let's take a look at that. River is an on-demand service which I can access from a URL. I can log on to Graceland, which is the Grace Brothers store section on the River platform. And if I go into sales, I can see the sales that have just been completed. Here I can see that there are two sales which have just been made. Sale number one, a lamp to Nick Dudson, and sale number two for 75 million, the Mona Lisa. So let's take a recap of what you've just seen. A customer launches the smartphone app. The phone application recognizes the item via image recognition or RFID tag. The product information is sent to the phone from the SAP River platform. The customer purchases the item and the data is sent securely to SAP via the River platform. SAP processes the order, debits the amount from the customer account and arranges a delivery. And finally, sales information is sent from SAP via River to the store manager tablet application.